Namaste. So here we're going to explain the piece that I recently composed and posted on SoundCloud. And the link to SoundCloud is in the video description. So if you want to listen or even download the file, you can go there. But this video is about the explanation of the structure and meaning of the piece. So first of all, <laughs> Forest Green, the title, refers to Arunachala's new reforestation. Huh? There's some pictures of Arunachala in the old days, 1930s and 40s, and it looks like the moon. I mean, there's no trees at all on it. So, but over the last 20 years, there's been a reforestation program. Uh, at first, it was started by individuals, and then it was taken up by the government of India, and now he looks all nice and green again. And nobody is allowed to go and cut wood or anything like that. So, Forest Green is his mood in the summer rainy season. Uh, you have to understand, in India there are six seasons. And the summer monsoon season is my favorite because it's so quiet. There are no tourists. <laughs> and especially during lockdown, it's been so silent and peaceful here. It's just been wonderful for meditation. And then, forest green also is a feeling. You know that feeling when you go in a nice green forest? It's so peaceful. It's so meditative, huh? Just naturally. And there's a feeling of safety and security. And I think that's the feeling that I really wanted to project with this piece. So the whole piece is about our Nachla. <laughs> which I would say is the dominant spiritual force in my life right now. And so the opening of the piece, here's the, the diagram of the whole piece. You can see the different sections in their different colors and the tracks on the left. So this is about the opening section, the introduction. And now this the squirrels are singing. I guess they want to be recorded. <laughs> Our new recording stars, Mrs. Squirrel. Anyway, the opening of the piece are these orange sections here. And they express or represent the mercy flowing down from Arunachala. Arunachala is Shiva. Shiva is God, Brahman, the Absolute. And so his mercy, his compassion flows down to the people below, looking up for guidance and shelter. So the pattern in the first section is repeated in the second with only a slight variation. And here it is. This is the harmonic motif for the whole piece. This section with descending uh, chords according to a diminished scale. Dee, da, 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 this is a diminished chord, diminished seventh chord. So this represents the uncertainty of life in the material world. 
and how this mercy descending from Shiva gives us shelter to get through it. First of all, to understand it, the fact that this world is uncertain and that we can never really know what's going to happen and be okay with that. So the next section then is the melodic motif. And it begins with a little tabla. And this is just a basic teen tal tabla and the drone in the background, of course. And then the melody. Gama pari. Huh? This is the uh, melodic motif for the whole piece. And it gets repeated in several different chords, which are derived from, guess what? The chords in the introduction. <laughs> so that little harmonic thing in the introduction gets expanded into a whole chord progression. And then this melody is added on top of it. And it sounds like this. the melodic motif has been explored in the different harmonic spaces of the chords, then we uh, give the melody, the actual melody for the piece, and then there's a vocal that goes along with it, and that is heard here. actual message of the piece. Huh? When all the love you need is within, why are you crying? Huh? 
In other words, God is within. And if you search, you can find him or her, depending on how you look at God. <laughs> God, goddess. Brahman is within as consciousness. So if that's the case or when that's the case, which is always, <laughs> why look outside for friendship and love? We all need friendship and love. Yes, that's true. But we go looking outside through the senses in the world and we keep getting the rug pulled out from under us, isn't it? Isn't that the story of everybody's life? Certainly is the story of mine. That relationships with people are unreliable because people change. Things change. So if we want a reliable source of happiness and love, we have to look within. We have to look to God and Goddess. That's the message. Now, to celebrate that message, <laughs> there's a jam. This is the jam section where we have a nice uh, bass starting it off and then some Indian percussion, tablas and bells and kartals. And then on top of that, the same old chords, <laughs> but expanded a little bit and then a synth lead. And that sounds like this. And then finally, there's the ending where the same old uh, motif is presented again, and that kind of wraps everything up, and it ends very simply. So now I encourage you to listen to the whole piece. <laughs> Either use the link below to go to SoundCloud. Aung Tatsa. Aung Shakti Aung.